tonight is a uh, cast member on Saturday Night Live. You can see him this weekend at Caroline's Comedy Club right here in New York City. Please welcome the Helena Bonham Carter of comedy, Mr. Colin Quinn. here Colin thank you first yes. of all what do you have to, what level of success do you have to get to before you don't follow a turkey buzzard out okay <laughs> how big do you have to get you have to do a Jim Carrey movie? I know this was we're... a turkey buzzard from New York City and a frog <laughs> so we decided where do we go with first those exotic animals or Colin Quinn and we decided we'll go with the animals. The penguin kicked me out of the makeup chair. It was humiliating. <laughs> well, how are you? You know, I'm glad you're here for one reason. I don't feel like I'm getting sufficient Christmas spirit tonight from my co-workers here at the show. Uh, and I know that you're someone who has the Christmas spirit, do you? It's tough to get the Christmas spirit in New York. Do you know what I'm saying there, Andy? I mean, let's face it, you know. First of all, you got the bloods out there, street gang in New York now, and they'll cut you for wearing red. I hate to be a Santa, department store Santa Claus this year. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Ho, ho, ho. Oh, son of a bitch. <laughs> you think the bloods are after Santa? Uh, yeah. I just think it's, you know, it's hard to get into the old uh -huh. oeuvre. Can uh -huh. I say oeuvre of Christmas? You know yeah, what I'm you saying? can say oeuvre, sure. But they have, like, everybody's got their little decorations. It's sad, like, you know, even like the store, like the newsstand. I go to the newsstand and there's like, you know, like porno magazines with Santa Claus, like performing sex acts on the cover. The little kids going there to buy candy. <laughs> Don't look at me like I had something to do with it. No, but look at you're talking disguise. about it. You know, is, I mean, New York? What, what do you mean, at the local newsstand? Yeah, yeah. some thing at the newsstand, they have these... First of all, I'll tell you a true sad story about... First of all, at the newsstand, they have sex for any any perversion you have. They've got it at the newsstand. they got, like, magazines for everybody. Barely legal, over 60, big butts, little boobs, girls who like to give oral sex, girls who don't like to give oral sex, but do it out of a sense of obligation, you know? <laughs> girls who like to tease. Fine magazine, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. Girls who like to tease, amputees, amputees who like to tease, you know. <laughs> and this is a true sad story about... <laughs> uh -huh. This is a sad true story about my newsstand. I'm serious right now. I go to my newsstand so that I talk to the guy, like I interact with the guys from East India. We have a little conversation every year. So, you know, every time I go in there, not that I'm there buying porn, but, you know, I'm buying stuff, but I always look at the porn. You know, like, oh, should I buy it? You know? And, you know, anybody recognize me? I don't want to buy it. And, you know, the guy goes like this to me one day. Here, sir, here's a good one for you. And he hands me, that was my East Indian accent, by the way. I thought it was... Watch that one more time. Sir, here's a good one for you. <laughs> and he hands me a gay porno mag. <laughs> you hear So, like, this whole time I've known the guy, I never realized he's sitting there telling his friends, oh, you know, there's one guy in there, you know, he's obviously gay, he's afraid to buy gay literature, you know. <laughs> Did you talk to him about this? No, no, I didn't. I was just like, no, sir, I'm really not interested in that. Thank you. I'll uh -huh. just take a post. <laughs> you know, I, like, I gave him the chill. I gave him the hi-hat. Uh-huh. Ah, good for you. You did the right thing, Colin. Thanks, Conan. I'd hate to run across you. Now, what about, uh, I, I like this time of year because, first of all, best thing for us is everyone's watching TV. Yeah. So shows like us get, uh, get good ratings. That's you know, true. are you watching TV a lot on the holidays? Yeah, but there's nothing to watch except violence. That's all there is. Porno and violence. Sex and violence in society, Conan. Even the animals you have here. Like, all the shows now, Deadliest uh, Meanest Animals, Deadliest Swarms. Every show's like a calamity. America's faultiest electrical wiring, you know? <laughs> animals who attack fish, people who break furniture, you know? It's going to get more specific. We're going to get bored. All we want to see is people chewed up, spit out, stabbed, cuss, you know? Pretty soon they're going to have to get really specific when we get too bored, like... Guys with mustaches trapped in elevators. <laughs> Ugly people pushed down staircases. <laughs> Guys with one eye thrown off buildings, you know. If you want to be a film student, don't go to NYU film school. Just get the uh, late shift at the 7-Eleven located near you. That's all the guys that get on TV is those hidden cam guys. Those are all tours of next century, the 7-Eleven clerk from 12 to 8. He's like, yes, if you notice here, I used the zoom lens when he shot my cousin, you know. <laughs> I got the laundry detergent in the background symbolizing the cleansing of the soul, the purification. <laughs> you know. People like that real life video. They do. Yes, they do. <laughs> yes, they do. Yeah, they like that. Oh, it's yeah? very popular right now. Now, do you see, you see the world as a vicious place? Is that how you see it? Let's is that face your... the facts. Is that my what? I knew there was going to be a good word coming out. I'd like to hear it. What? No, I thought you were going to have some great, like, $5 word. Like, is that your zeitgeist or something? I was going to say zeitgeist. <laughs> That's pretty much what I was going to say. No, is that, is that your view of the world? Is that your, your world view? Oh. 
<laughs> you put too much pressure on it. You broke it. Don't look at me. Is that what? Is it? Is that? Uh, is that how you see the world around you as a vicious, cruel place? <laughs> That's how I see this show. No, that's how I see the world. It is. I'm going to set you up like for your jokes one more time. And if you can't manage it on that one, we're kicking you out of here. You, you, can, get a ride, you can get a ride home from the big <laughs> window. You don't kick me off the show. Is you know, your world view that, yes, my world view that everything is vicious, Colin? Do you see it as a vicious place? Is well, that you know your zeitgeist? Ah, thank you. <laughs> You know what it is, Conan, everything is backwards and upside down as we round the century's end, you know, the millennium, bicent, whatever it's called. I, uh, you know, everything's backwards, folks, let's face it, you have housewives in gymnasiums dancing aerobics to gangster rap. Meanwhile, gangsters are sitting on the stoops gossiping in hairnets and curlers. Well, you have little children on leashes while pit bulls roam the streets freely. Rich kids have more jailhouse tattoos than a lifer in San Quentin. Well, poor kids wear more gold than a 15th century French king. <laughs> <laughs> the women box? Well, the men take step classes. <laughs> leaving the girls with hands of stone and the boys with buns of steel. <laughs> I have a lot more. Should I keep going? I don't know how much thought I have. <laughs> I didn't stop you. Okay, I know. I stopped myself. <laughs> I got paranoid. I was, I'm enjoying these. Thank you. Um, you have another one? Uh, I have a few more. Uh, kids learn how to uh, fight in school and how to read in jail. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, folks. The hockey one. Thank you. The hockey. The hockey one. The hockey one. Hockey. Oh. Hockey. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yes. White kids wear dreadlocks <laughs> while black kids wear hockey jerseys. <laughs> basking in my glory over here. <laughs> uh, hey, guess yeah. what? Uh, what? <laughs> Tomorrow night, Saturday Night Live, Christmas Past, right? Yeah. It's going to be on the air. It's going to be a good show. And uh, you're at Caroline's Comedy Club in New York City this weekend. You should all go and now check out... Now it becomes a choice. <laughs> no, they'll go and see you. There's a lot of people going to stay home for the Christmas show now. And I want to get those tickets. No, people are going to turn out to see your... Zeitgeist. <laughs> Colin Quinn, everybody. Thank you so much, Colin. Thanks, Colin. <laughs>